Anybody love Jesus in this place? Amen. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. If you do not love Jesus, be very quiet right now. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Tonight is a night of miracles, and we're very, very excited to be here. I'm standing here with my wonderful wife. Amen. Danielle, give the Lord a hand, praise. And in just a moment, you're going to see her uh, uh, run right over there to that canvas. She does prophetic art, and um, she's going to, God, God's given her, I believe, already an idea for tonight. Amen. Uh, so so God, God speaks to her heart, and she'll do a painting. And uh, we're, we're excited about what God's going to do. I think I have your glasses. I don't want to wear these up here. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and so um, I'd like her to just say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Love you. Amen. <laughs> and so um, uh, Perfect Love World Revival, uh, Perfect Love <laughs> Ministries. <laughs> Perfect Love Revival Ministries International. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. And we, we've been blessed, uh, you know, with empty nesters. We've been blessed to travel, traveling, right, just all around. All we do is this full time. We just travel and bless lives. And, um, you know, we have a revival center back in St. Louis, but our time is spent traveling and, and just touching lives wherever God sends us. Amen? And, um, and, and we'll go and do 20,000, 30,000 people, 50,000 people, and then we'll go to a home church where there's about two or three. Amen? Because God has assigned us to the one. I don't know who in here tonight is the one, but if you look at Jesus' ministry, there's always one person that stands out in the crowd, the woman with the issue of blood, blind, bought a miss. Come on. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. That one leper. I want to say to you tonight that God has something very, very miraculous and special for a person here tonight. That doesn't mean that not everyone, the Bible says that everyone was healed and everyone was blessed and everyone was blessed by the ministry of Jesus. However, but there was always one person who was hungry enough to reach out and grab the hem of his garment. Somebody say amen. And I hope that tonight somebody came here hungry enough to reach out and grab the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Because if you don't grab it, I'm grabbing it. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk out of here with your miracle. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you on assignment, baby. If somebody don't grab the miracle, you grab it. Let's bring it home. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> you want to say something? Say something? You good? Amen. She's going to come back in a little bit. So, we go ahead on, darling. Amen. I love my wife. Bless you, darling. Amen. She is my ride or die. You know, the Lord spoke to us to come down here to Harlingen, Texas. Amen. Woo! With my dear brother and sister, amen, Ortiz. Amen. Give the Lord a hand praise for your pastor. He is incredible. You know, we met, we met some decade ago, and we fell in love. I fell in love with him, and, 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 and God just, just did a great work. And I came here, and I, I believe a lot of folk was blessed. Amen. If you was here last time I was here, if you could remember that far, wave your hands up in the air. Amen. There's some folks. Amen. Give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. And uh, we had a Holy Ghost time. And, and God's had me on some different assignments and some different things, and he has now released us, and we are just, uh, just moving, as God says, move. And so we drove 1,200 miles down here to Harlingen, amen, hallelujah. It's a small thing in God. It's a small, it's a small, it's a small, it's a small thing. We made a stop along the way out in, in Cypress, Texas, and ministered to uh, my aunt and uncle. That was a blessing, amen, hallelujah. Somebody say amen. So don't, don't despise the drive, amen. It's all good. It's nothing but God. It's nothing. Plus, I got my beautiful wife locked up for 12 hours. Come on, she's my prisoner. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. 
Actually, she might say it's the other way. She got me locked up and got my full attention for 12 hours, and that's why if I hold in my ears because she's been talking. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, um, I'm, I'm going to dive into this word in a second, but I, I want to give out a couple of things. First of all, I have this book right here. It's called Understanding Love. I'm not sure, if Pastor Ortiz, if you have this book. This is another edition, but I want to bless you with it because I know you're a man of study. But this will break down some things for you. Actually, this book is written in both. It's two books in one. It's the same book written in two different languages. It's in Korean, amen, which Koreans fold that way. And it's also in, in English, American English, amen. And so we have here this book, Understanding Love. But I tell you what, it unlocks the power of love. And how many of you know, beloved, <laughs> beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and he that loveth is born of God and know God. He that love not, know not God for God is love. <laughs> Amen. And if you understand that, you understand the power of love and you understand what God will do. And I, I, I'll send you the, um, I will send you the, the, the answer key so you can have the cheat notes, uh, pastor. Okay. I'm going to send you the answer key. Amen. And that we have that book back at the table. We have some other things. We have some prophetic art back there. So please, uh, it's a way of sowing into the ministry, and you get a little something extra, amen, something tangible, amen, but something spiritual as well, because we have people telling us all the time, especially, I mean, the books are, are, are a blessing. There's another book I want to give out as well, but the books are a blessing, and, um, and, and, and the art is, is a blessing. And we, we just got a word from one, one wonderful woman who purchased uh, some of Danielle's art. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and she says every morning she gets up, she starts her day just by looking at it. She hung it on a wall in her home and, just, and, and look at it. And she said it sets the whole tone for her day. It has totally transformed her, 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 her days. Amen. So we believe God is doing something special with that. I have another book. It's called Principles and Promises of Love. This is just scriptures. This is 100% scriptures from the Bible, but it's broken down into categories like, um, you know, uh, family, faith. Uh, all, all sorts of categories, uh, multitude, m multiple categories, and, and it's just 100% scriptures, but it's a really, really powerful book on love, and God, God blessed me to compile this, and, uh, and so 100% uh, uh, love scriptures for every area of life, and so I want to bless somebody with this. Anybody want this? Anybody? Amen. Who, who, see, there you go. You got to run up and grab the hymn, girl. Huh? Oh, amen, 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 amen. Marriage ministry, that's the level. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody say hallelujah. So um, I want to set the table before I get into this because I'm, I'm, I'm here for the tsunami, and I'm experiencing the tsunami, all right? And if you're not experiencing the tsunami, that's on you. But I drove 1,200 miles, so I'm getting all the tsunami I could get. Somebody say amen. Oh, yeah. So I need to break something down for you because... Tonight, we're going to explore the miraculous mindset. Everybody say miraculous mindset. And there are going to be miracles. There are going to be signs. There are going to be wonders. You know, the Lord's blessed us. We try all around the world. I've been to every, every continent except Antarctica, and I keep saying that, and I don't know why, because I'm going to probably be in a parka soon, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 but God has blessed us to touch many nations and many lives and many, many thousands. Our goal in this season, God has set us in this season to win 7 million souls to Christ, and we're at 490, 400, 400, Thousand, four hundred thousand. Amen. Uh, I'm gonna try to remember the exact number, but we're over four hundred thousand. Amen. Somebody say, "Man, Amen." <laughs> I think four hundred and four hundred and ninety-three thousand, something like that. You pulling it up? Amen. Somebody say, "Praise the Lord." Just say, say, people getting, 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 getting one to Christ. Amen. People are coming to Jesus Christ. Amen. As Lord and Savior, and so. We just, you were just speaking about India. You know, we've been supporting ministry in India for, for many, many years. And, this, and, 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 and we'll be going there uh, this year. And, um, and, and there's such a great work and such a great need. Amen. And we support about 300 orphans there uh, in India that we work with and, so, and, and a number of widows. And, and Pastor Prabhu, who, who we brought to the United States multiple times, he's a, he's a blessing. And... Um, 
Uh, but I want to talk about this for just a second. Everybody take a look at this. Everybody see it? So somebody tell me the content. How much is in this bottle? Just shout it out. Somebody said half full. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm getting real technical. Must be an engineer or something here. All right. Okay, so, so half full. All right. Some people will say half empty, and some people say half full. The pessimist or the negative kind of mindset might say half empty. The person with a, with a positive mindset uh, will say half full. But it's neither half empty nor half full. Amen. It is full. It's half full of water and half full of air. And the part you don't see is more important than the part you do see. Somebody catch it. Breathe, 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 breathe. The part you don't see is more important than the part you do see. I want to say it again. The part you don't see is more important than the part you do see. You can live for a few days without what's on the bottom, but on what's on top, you can only live for a few seconds. And tonight, when we explore the miraculous mindset, I need you, as we step and dive into the deep waves of this tsunami, I need you to see what you don't see. Somebody say amen. I'm going to expand a little further. If I take the cap off, of this bottle, the part you don't see is now expanded throughout this whole room. It's seamless. Do you get it? It's seamless. There's no beginning or end to it. Somebody say amen. amen. So that means that what you don't see expands beyond the bottle. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, if you can catch that, and I believe everyone just did, it is Something miraculous to think about that the part you don't see is more important. And that holds true in the spiritual. Natural things speak to the spirit. And I say that because I need you to not be thrown off by the brightness of my shirt or maybe my accent or anything about me or the neighbor, the person sitting next to you or anything about what someone may do. Because tonight, somebody say tonight, it's all about, point to yourself, say me. It's all about you. It's about everyone, but it's about you. Because you're the gatekeeper of your salvation. You're the gatekeeper of your miracle. You're the gatekeeper of your mind. And so tonight is very, very important that you be who you need to be to yourself so that you can be who you need to be to the world, to the person next to you, to your family, to your friends, to the world, to your children, to your parents. It's important that you be tonight who you need to be. And I need you to get your mind off the part that you've been focused on, the part you see, and step into a miraculous mindset, and I'm going to define that in just a moment, to acknowledge the parts you don't see. Because it took a whole lot of miracles to get you here tonight. Some very obvious, but some not so obvious. But the fact that you stand here tonight, or sit here, is a testament of God's goodness. Somebody say amen. amen. And when my brother told me, he said, Pastor Mike, I'm doing a revival. I think we were in Tampa, Florida. I'm doing a revival. God's called me to do not just any kind of revival, but it's called a tsunami. And we're going to do 21 days. I believe God has something for the people. And immediately the Holy Spirit quickened in me. And I knew that I had to be here. I knew that whatever the plans were, they had to be shut down because I needed to spend time here in this place. Somebody say amen. amen. And I dare you to let me, a visitor, value this moment greater than you. Because this is where you live. This is where you grow. This is where you thrive. This is where you eat. This is where you learn. This is where you drink. This is where you see God. This is where you please God. 
with your faith. And so I call you tonight to please God because faith pleases God. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. 